Another thrift store purchase from yesterday, in addition to the JVC camcorder, was actually this. Oops. A General Electric. Let's see, what is this? Let's actually flip it upside down. I have no idea what exactly it is. Uh, it is a... Get some light on that. Not that it'll do much. It's not going to do a whole lot for us. Oh, what is that? I can't even read it. 74628B, it looks like. You can see other information. Made in China, so it's China Pride. But, uh, oh well. Clocks, like, you can't really do much to screw up a clock. Like, come on. There's our date code. I used to know how to decode those, but I seem to have forgotten because I can't decode that one. But you can't even read because this thing is washing itself out. This is not a very good camera to be using at this time of day because it doesn't have a very good concept of white balancing and all of that. There's something else. Audio video equipment CSA certification. Risk of electric shock. Do not open. Sounds familiar. Uh, do not expose to rain or moisture. I'm not quite sure what this is. No, our focus just lost the plot there. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's our battery door. It does have a 9-volt battery backup. There was a battery in there, and I may even still have the battery sitting on the floor over here. Yes, I do. There it is. This is the battery that was in it. Long since dead, but not all too old either. March of 2015 was the expiry on that. Let's see, what else have we got with this? Well, on the back we've got a band switch, and of course the port for the cord. Uh, it uses the line cord as the uh, antenna, which is unfortunate, but that's just the way that it is with a lot of these things. I'm not quite sure, I mean, if I could decode the date code, that would be even better, but I'm pretty sure that this is probably from either the late 1990s, early 2000s, or maybe even the mid-2000s. It doesn't look like it's all that old. Um, it's got uh, an interesting feature here called Night Glow. Actually, if I can do that, oh, maybe not. Maybe that won't work. I'll have to take it somewhere where it's dark. But these are light-up controls. You can kind of see the plastic around. It's clear. These are on and off for the radio. We have two alarms, which is something you will not find in an alarm clock these days. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but you just won't. Sleep button, sleep timer, and set buttons for the times in the alarm. We have fast forward, forward, and reverse. Something that is nice. And we've also got two brightness settings. We've got low, which you can barely see there, high, and then of course that's how you set the time. I usually leave it on low because that's usually good for these kinds of old clocks. I'm not quite sure what this display is, to be perfectly honest with you. I initially thought that it was a vacuum fluorescent display, and maybe it is, but it looks like it's potentially LED, but those are some thin characters. You can see, look at just how thin those characters are. Camera's doing some really goofy stuff with that, and I'm not sure why that happens. But it does that on LED clocks. That probably tells me that that's an LED clock right there. Here's our snooze button without the E. And I like the arrow, with the sort of arrow pointer thing that it's got going on. Let's see if I can actually turn on the radio here. Let's go all the way to the beginning, the band switch here. Total Care, and by Pods, the best moving and storage idea ever. This is Ottawa's Alternative Rock, Live 88.5. What? Ew. That's a French station. Huh? Cruise control. <laughs> So, I will give each of you a quote, and you have to tell me who said it. Current Republican frontrunner Ted Cruz. Oh, space cadets. These are by artists such as Gwen Swick. Tickets start at just 12 bucks, and that helps it just... Yeah, you could probably tell there's a lot of crap on the radio these days. I wonder what this is. You 
work hard and play harder. You look competition straight in the eye and say, bring it on. Time machine avec Martin Zubé. Fridays at Edelweiss get a full day or full evening lift ticket including... I think we're getting to the point where it's just interference. Alright. The AM band is not likely to do much of anything. Marlboro Township, Glengarry, these the townships all had concession roads and, and, and the concession roads are it's really equivalent. So again, it really comes down to fitting and then you know preference. Holy crap, interference. There should be one more station. I'm not sure where and it is. Barbecue terraces. There it is. Every apartment features nine foot ceilings in suite laundry. The rest of it's just a bunch of interference. Hopes if I actually change the switch. It's a lot of French stations, as you can probably tell, but anyways, turn that off. There's one other thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, there's something interesting about the alarm. Now, let's see if I can set this. It's 11.20 right now. So, we will go ahead and set this for, I don't know, 11.22. 11.21, sure. And then it'll go off, and I want to show you something interesting about the alarm. So, we're just going to have to wait for it, I suppose. Sit in this uncomfortable position. Yeah, this is probably LED. The camera usually freaks out with those when it's LED, so... You can hear it. Watch what happens when I turn the volume control. That's right. It's a volume adjustable alarm. I have never seen that before. I wonder if I can set it off again. No, unfortunately not, but uh, let's try this one for, what time is it, 11.21, 11.22. Wake to music and we'll see what that's like. Should be just through the radio, I believe. Well, yeah, it's obviously just the radio. But we'll see how it works, if it actually does have volume by default or if I have to change this in order to get some volume out of it. Yeah, I need to, uh... In addition, her personality is by nature focused, and she really just... So anyway, I think that is pretty much it for the GE7-4620. B alarm clock. I'd love it if somebody knew somebody that knew how to decode those would tell me what it is. Or maybe I'll figure it out and I'll post it in the description or something. But anyways, there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. Hope to see you next time. Till then.